warship in pursuit of the Bismarck. British sea power seeking vengeance on that German battleship which blew up the mighty battlecruiser Hood. The signal comes by wireless. An American-built Catalina seaplane has spotted the fleeing Bismarck, and the order is given by Admiral Somerville in charge of operations. Torpedo planes to the attack. They take off from the aircraft carrier Ark Royal, the ship the Germans so often claim they sank. And those are the warplanes that torpedoed the Bismarck, damaging it, slowing its speed, so the British warships could catch the fugitive giant. Scenes of the battle, the crippled Bismarck fires, shells fall near a British warship. Shells from the doomed Nazi battleship continue to burst. British gunfire and the camera shakes and the cannon smoke drifts by as broadsides are hurled by the warship aboard which these pictures are made and the Bismarck is doomed. Prisoners, members of the crew of the German battleship, which was finally finished off by a torpedo. A hundred odd were saved. They thought their ship unsinkable. But in its first sally out on the ocean, the Bismarck was sunk after less than seven days on the high sea. That sea monster fired its shells in the final action, HMS Rodney. To congratulate comes First Lord of the Admiralty Alexander. The pride and prestige of the British Navy was bound in the destruction of the Bismarck. Vengeance for the sinking of the Hood, world's biggest warship. And the feeling is expressed by the First Lord of the Admiralty. The destruction of the Bismarck, that great and powerful ship, had to be accomplished to be true to the traditions of the British Royal Navy. They played their part in a victory which is proudly marked up along with victories of the past. The greatest pursuit and kill in history. <laughs> <laughs>